Hi, Mark Randy here from the Open Design Project. This is just a little update on where I'm at on this little BIM eco house. I've been calling it a cottage or a house. Uh, I've been using it pretty much interchangeable. It's a small house or a cottage, whatever you want to make it. Uh, this shows, this is a manifold here, an eight port manifold. Let me see if I can get in there. Inventor doesn't like you to get too close. It'll start, uh, the view will start decaying. This is Inventor 2010, so they really did a number on 2011 with the visuals, so that might behave a little better than this. But as you can see, this is, I created this as an iLogic part, so it, I'm pretty sure it just has this one valve here and either blue or red pipe ends and I create the path on the end of these. The pipes themselves are uh, sweeps. They're connected at every uh, connector here. The sweep will st start and stop at either side of the connector and will finally end up at a fixture on one end. Start at this port here and end up at a fixture but I do not have any fixtures in as of yet, so all the, let's see if we can see this one. You can see it dies right there. I'll just add on to this whenever I have the hole cut in here and the uh, valvage for the sink. I also ran, this is all content center parts, this is the gas line. We go from the, the dryers way over here, there's a shutoff right there and we got the on-demand water heater up here shut off valve right there and then you can see this goes up and that's why these two trusses are in here because the pipe itself runs along one of them and comes back through the other and then runs down in what will be a built-out section on the wall here I don't want this inside the wall I, I don't want any, uh, or as few as possible, um, interferences into the uh, insulation. And then this will have a, a hose running up into the bottom of this. This is a ger generic representation of a, of a wall heater. It's, it's an exact size, it just doesn't have all the details. This, let me zoom in here. This on-demand water heater is exactly the right size and right shape. It, this configuration is not perfect because I don't have the information from them as of yet and don't know if I can get it either. Um, for some reason people don't like to put out that kind of information. And you can see there's three open um, fittings there and there's three open three open ports here that'll finish it up I'll just we got one going to the toilet again no fitting so it just dies right there one going to the vanity and the three open ones we need one to the shower one to a hose bib here and then one that will split between a small vanity and a little toilet up on the upper level here. The level of detail. Um, I'm set at plumbing work right here which only has what I want visible. These two trusses are only visible because I needed both of them to work on this pipe here and this gable end truss and these other trusses here are visible because I'm routing through this whole area here. This will, everything will be accessible. This um, strut right here will be the back wall of some cabinetry that we will be built in along the upper level here and all of it will have um, open panels that open in the back and the bottom just like on a yacht. Um, I just came from a yacht building company so this is incorrect. This shouldn't be running through 
this rafter here. This should drop down, which I'll have to do. I think that's about it. I can change the design. Oh, I do have stairway is done. And I'll divide it into its own parts. It's kind of nice. It's a little mission style. It should be fairly cheap to build. And I gotta make some drawings of it as well. All right, get around to that part. Got to get these this plumbing. There is actually a the first unit of these is already under construction. Uh, the concrete's poured and the uh, stub out plumbing. Let's take a look at that. And if I change the level of detail to stub out, that is the stub out plumbing. This is the stuff that is below the slab. That's all in there, and the slab is poured. I'm going to get some pictures uh, probably this weekend. This pipe right here is where that water came up through the slab. It's just a sleeve. And then if I go back, where was I? I was at normal, I think. Yep, that shows that little, little toilet upstairs. Um, I've designed it to be an add-on. It'll have the uh, it'll have this in the wall and everything's accessible so at a later date I can come in and put this uh, toilet in if desired. I don't know if I will or not. Um, and then we'll shut this down which will bring us back to the model of the entire house. You can see the window openings and everything. I'm going to change the level of detail to normal. And it's loading parts. If you look down in the lower right here, you can see we're over 800, pushing 900 parts. And there you have it. You can see by the exterior here, this there is no siding or anything on this yet. Um, there is roofing on here, shingles. But I haven't put the siding on yet. I'm going to do some a uh, little bit of um, craftsman style details, a couple brackets on here. I may put some like cedar uh, fish scale shingles on the upper part of this. I'm not sure yet and possibly a full front porch here. Make it more like a little farm getaway. You open one of these up. These are the um, Pella windows that I made and because they don't have any BIM objects, of course. That's all it is. I, I took uh, an actual window that I have and took my dial calipers to it and calipered it out and that's what you get. And this little BIM ob object can be resized to whatever I need it. And there you have it. I'm going to route the rest of the systems. Let me get back to the plumbing. I'm going to route the rest of the systems shortly. I'll finish working on that tonight, and I should have hot and cold water lines in, possibly uh, by the end of the week. I want to make an, a couple more videos this week, hopefully, if I can find the time. All right, there we go. Uh, let me just show you the framing only. This view, framing only, is, is exactly what it sounds like. And I think we have, yep, we have nuts and bolts. These are the uh, foundation anchors. We do have the slab in here. This is a frost protected shallow foundation, which is fairly new. Not too many people have heard about it. Uh, it was designed here in the United States, but it's been used mostly in Europe, um, and now it's making its way back here, and there's starting to be quite a few houses made with these. It's basically an old, a lot of the old-timers call these bell, bell slabs, 
or thickened edge um, slabs. And then it has styrofoam attached to these side walls and then coming out um, perpendicular to the concrete here under the ground and that keeps the frost from getting under it and heaving it up. It traps um, heat from the ground itself underneath it and will not allow frost to heave it. And there you have it. Um, I'll be putting out another video later this week if I can get to it. Stay tuned for that. See you later.